So you have a room that you just can't keep warm. Let's talk about those issues for a few minutes. Some rooms have recessed lights, just like this one right here. What we find in recessed lights is that there's a lot of air movement. As you can see by the smoke puffer here, the air is just coming right into the room pretty, pretty steadily. What we also find about around recessed lights, if they're not insulation contact lights, you will also notice in this infrared picture that there's missing insulation. So the air just moves right past the insulation and into the room as indicated by the smoke puffer. The top plate is another issue. As you can see with this infrared camera, we're seeing air moving behind the wall. This gives you another problem with keeping your uh, room warm. Another thing while we're on this is that generally what happens is with the top plate problem, we also find that in most cases the trim on doorways is not caulked and it allows air to move from the trim into the room as you can also see by this infrared picture. Another issue in a lot of rooms that contribute to it uh, not being able to be kept warm is the fact that when you install a ceiling fan, the opening where the ceiling fan connects to the attic or the upper floor allows air movement from, up, from the uh, connection into the room. Okay, we've gone over ceiling fans, top plates, and recessed lights. This is just scratching the surface on how to try and keep a, uh, a room warm. If you want to discover the facts, to find out what's going on and causing the problems in your home. Please call the Home Energy Detective today.